hello, welcome to today's pose breakdown. We're going to look at a posture that's used in both Hatha and in Yin practices. So in Hatha it would be called Supta Virasana, recline hero's pose, or in Yin it's called saddle pose. So either way, we're going to look at making it comfortable, hopefully, and accessible for you, all right? So you might be perfectly happy in the pose without props, but if you are not, then this will be for you. All right, so it's, we start kneeling, and then we're going to, let me just move that, we're gonna bring the feet apart, so we're sitting on the ground between our heels. Okay, now nose isn't accessible for everyone. So things that might help you. Firstly, you might want to raise the ground up. So you could sit on a block or a blanket or whatever you have. So you could be kneeling on your blanket and then you might find that little bit of height suddenly means, ah, oh, okay, now I, now I know what they're talking about. And you can access the lovely stretch down your thighs and then maybe lean back onto your bolster. You might find that your ankle is off the ground, so you've got a big gap here which puts pressure on the foot. So then you could tuck a scarf I've got here or a pair of socks or anything you have. And then if your ankle is supported, both sides of course, of course you might think, oh, now I get this. Okay, now I can see where this pose is going. So that might be really useful. It might be that you can sit on the ground or maybe you need a blanket or a block under your bottom to sit on. But it might be that your knees are lifting up a little bit and feel a bit awkward. If you pop something underneath, you might think, ah, oh, now I get it. Now this is working for me, okay? So there's some options there that might straight away help you. So it might be that you can lean back a little tiny bit so you can lean into your hands Maybe you can go a bit further, lean onto your elbows. It may be, and I'm going to use a bolster today because I think most of us would want something, a little bit of something. So you might be leaning onto your hands, onto your elbows. You might quite want quite a lot of cushions piled up to lay back onto. You might think, oh, okay, now that's giving me a bit more support, okay? It might be you can lay straight down onto your bolster but whatever you're doing, take your time. There's no rush, so find your position. You might want an extra cushion under your head. This might work for you. You might be happy with your head on your bolster. You can either keep your arms alongside you, or if they're comfortable, bring your arms overhead. I'm hoping that you can now access a lovely stretch through your thighs, maybe your hips a bit, wherever you're feeling it. If you have your arms overhead, you may well be feeling it in your shoulders, nicely opening through the chest. So we'll stay here for a few breaths, having taken your time to find your position. Now let's enjoy it. So lovely, full, comfortable breathing. So with each inhale, have that lovely sense of expansion, of opening. And as you exhale, a sense of softening, releasing, just let go. So if this is being used in a yin class, you'd stay here for about five minutes, something like that. We won't stay here that long. So now we're gonna ease up. So use your hands to lean into, use your elbows to so bring your hands to your feet. Lean into your elbows, come up a little way, and then bring your hands to the ground to ease all the way up. Let's just stretch the legs forward after kneeling. Give them a bit of a jiggle and circle the feet. Change direction and relax. Good, I hope that's useful. I hope you're liking this series of looking at one pose and 
breaking it down and finding alternatives because I know each posture isn't comfortable for everybody. There's always ones that we find a little bit more tricky and I uh, hope this is useful for you. Thank you for joining. See you soon. Namaste.